Well, the healthcare sector, uh, in particular pharmaceuticals as well as med tech and some specialty pharma companies, have gone through 10 to 12 years of significant derating of their valuation levels. So that really is the uh, initial attraction for us. Now, of course, there were good reasons for that to occur. Uh, pessimism about uh, generic competition, poor pipeline and R&D productivity, uh, misallocation of capital and so forth, but managements have changed on both the board level, the executive level, and the operational level over the last number of years. And actually, the patent cliff, which had so worried uh, investors, uh, is now beyond us. So looking forward, we think that these companies, by and large, are going to show a return to growth. They have significant free cash flow generation. They have good dividend yields that are supported by that free cash flow, and some very strong tailwinds of demographics, i.e. the aging of uh, societies, as well as emerging markets emergence into uh, middle class consumers that are going to be very supportive of earnings growth going forward. What are some of the names that are among the top holdings? Uh, our top holdings are primarily concentrated in Europe, uh, but also in the U.S. Uh, those are really, the, I would say, the center points for uh, much of the uh, successful firms in the pharmaceutical space. GlaxoSmithKline in the U.K., Roche in Switzerland, Sanofi in France, Merck KGA in Germany, uh, as well as Pfizer uh, in the U.S. are amongst our top holdings. And we should also point out that you are a fan of Europe in terms of overall compelling valuations. Yes, that's right. Uh, you know, it actually is a, sort of a contrarian way to look at uh, the world. Most investors ask where the outlook is the best to look to where they should invest. Our view is you should look where uh, investors are uh, concerned uh, or fearful or have anxiety uh, about the macro situation because oftentimes that allows you to buy companies or franchises at bargain prices or undervalued prices. And Europe, uh, having gone through their own financial crisis over the last number of years, uh, for us has been very productive in terms of searching for undervaluation and, and finding bargains.